Hi Taurus, I love you. I'm also Desi. Welcome to my channel, Starkeology Tarot. I'm so thrilled to have you here for your March reading. I'm looking for messages today that will only empower you, will only align you with your highest self, your highest good, your highest path. This is good for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And what resonates is what is meant for you, Taurus. What doesn't is meant for another member of this chosen collective. If you are here, you're here for a reason. Your guides led you here, and I'm calling your guides into this space right now because time is non-existent. Um, time is a concept. Uh, calling in your guides right now to direct my hand. As I pull cards for you specifically this month, Taurus. What are the messages for Taurus? What are the messages for Taurus? For the month of March. of swords Taurus judgment hello <gasps> what Taurus I could cry oh I I hope this message comes as such a relief to you Taurus four of swords you are in a place where you either you already are mentally detaching you are already resting you're taking a rest of some sort. You're really just being like, I need to shut off my brain. I need to power down. I need to rest and rejuvenate. Some of you, it's not as literal as that. It's more like, I need to mentally detach from something. Um, I need to mentally detach from something because I know that that will bring me stability that I need. Um, you're in this place where either you already are doing this or you know you need to do this in March. It's like... Oh, I am so being called to rest right now. I'm so uh, vibrating on the same frequency as just mental detachment, shutting off my brain, shutting off my thoughts, um, detaching from belief systems and thoughts that don't serve me. And you know that it's like I, the more you engage with those things, the less stable you are, the less secure you are. The irony is, of course, that those of you who are struggling with like surrendering to this, the reason why is you're afraid of judgment. So it's like, you know that engaging with these thoughts keep you in a place of insecurity. And yet, oh, it's like between a rock, you're like between a rock and a hard place because um, you know that that place keeps you in a place of insecurity, but you're like, well, if I, if I detach from that insecurity, um, that thing causing me insecurity, um, I'm afraid I'm gonna be judged for it, which also is like more, feeds more insecurity. So I just see you as really desperate for stability and security this month, Taurus, but you're, you're struggling because um, that fear of judgment is so, it's so potent, it's so strong. Um, some of you, it's like the taking a mental detachment of some sort, not engaging in some way, might draw attention. And it's that attention that you don't want. It's like, I don't want to be singled out. I don't want to be under, um, I don't want to be like in the public eye. I don't want to be, you know, whatever that means to you. It's like the public eye of your community or your family or, um, or literally you're famous and you're like, <laughs> I can't make decisions without being judged by millions of strangers. Um, it's that judgment. It's that that just like someone else having an opinion about you and your life and your decisions, um, your beliefs, uh, what you identify with, what you don't identify with, that is debilitating or, or really paralyzing for some of you. Um, it really is this, this, this huge obstacle this month. Um,
there's also an element of judgment that sometimes feels like purgatory almost it's like the waiting for judgment and for some of you this is more an issue of like your time of rest makes you feel like you're waiting for something it makes you feel like you're waiting for judgment like you're in purgatory you're in limbo and you're like um you know will someone tell me i'm good or i'm bad for doing this like it's like you need that kind of outward validation but detaching from um something that you need to detach from maybe deprives you of that outward validation it deprives you of something this could be as simple as like a social media cleanse i think for some of you like literally it's like the four of swords rest is a it's a rest from twitter like words though that's what the swords are and you're just like i gotta i gotta not i gotta get these words uh this this um constant input of words and opinions um i need to shut that down that's not serving me so yeah this judgment is like well who am i without that who am i without those words who am i without these you know being having access to these beliefs and um this mental like these mental gymnastics that i participate in every day like who am i without that that's what puts me into limbo that's what makes me feel like i'm in purgatory because i can't measure myself against other people that way i can't measure myself up against past versions of myself there's no one judging me there's no one telling me i'm good or i'm bad um that's very judgment energy that's that's purgatory energy so that really is the obstacle that you're coming up against this month. Some of you, it's self-judgment. It's like not even coming from someone else. It's not even the fear of judgment, but it's like you judge yourself for resting. You judge yourself for saying no, for setting a boundary or for saying like, I'm not going to engage with these words or these kinds of conversations anymore. Like that's the four of swords detachment. It's a detachment, not from mental thought, but like from your words, someone, your thoughts, your opinions about my life. I'm detaching from that. I'm setting a boundary. I'm saying no to that. I'm not interested in engaging in those words with you. And uh, there's like self-judgment maybe involved in that. Like the obstacle to doing that is this kind of self-judgment you have. Like, can I be, a, can I still be a good person and set a boundary like that? Can I say no and still consider myself a good person? Um, and of course you can, that's, that's that. <laughs> The answer in case you needed to hear that if that wasn't obvious to you yes you can do that um that self-judgment is is not coming from a place of um that's not coming from a truthful place it's coming it's still all even self-judgment is rooted in other people's opinions because that's stuff that we've absorbed from other people the metrics we use to judge ourselves are so they are products of conditioning of, of public cultural societal opinions and dogmas that's all learned you know you didn't you didn't come out of the womb judging yourself and i think that's really important to remember this could be the biggest obstacle here is separating that judgment from true judgment, which is like you being able to access your higher self and judge yourself through the eyes of your higher self, the most gentle, loving eyes. If you look at yourself through those eyes, what judgments do you reach then? Because that's the truth about you, Taurus. Nine of Cups is the advice. Wow. Wish fulfillment. I mean, what a, what, a, what a fascinating card to be in an advice position. How do you overcome judgment?
How do you overcome judgment? Wow. You can't judge things by what other people say, Taurus. You judge things by how they make you feel separate from anybody else's opinion. Imagine you didn't have to tell anyone your opinion or tell anyone your feelings. If you are alone in a room and you're able just to like hear that voice, like how do I honestly, honestly feel about this? Is this fulfilling for me? Does this fill my cup? Does taking this mental rest fill my cup? Is this a fulfillment of my genuine wish? Or is it the wish of someone else that I have adopted because I thought I'd, I thought I had, I, I had to adopt that? That's what everyone's wishes are, right? Should be mine too. This is about separating your own true wishes, true, true feelings from other people's or from, from collective opinion. And evaluating what brings you closer to your own inner fulfillment and what brings you further away from it. Because how many times are there, Taurus, where you achieve something that in the eyes of society or culture looks like a big win and yet you don't feel actually good about it or you don't or or the the good feeling is very shallow it's not it's not lasting it's not deep um it's not like peace giving or gratitude giving it feels more like quick relief that's the difference between Fulfillment of your of wishes that are not yours versus fulfillment of your true inner wishes. The wishes that serve your spirit, your soul, your heart. Get really, really um, curious about that this month, Taurus. That's the advice. Get curious. When you consider taking a rest, a mental detachment, what do you really honestly feel about it? If no one ever knew, imagine it that way. If nobody knew what you were doing and you had like a clone who was going about doing things the same way as always and you could hide this from people, how would you honestly feel about it? No one would be harmed. Nothing bad would happen. Mm -hmm. That's part of the, the hypothetical. How would you honestly feel about it? Would it fulfill a wish for you? I would love to hear how this looks specifically for you in your life, Taurus, so feel free to comment below. Um, please like, subscribe, share this channel with anyone who you think needs a little extra support right now. That's why I do this. Um, and if you'd like to support my work here and help me do more of it, help me help you more and better, faster, stronger, um, please consider becoming a patron. The link below, you can um, donate just a few dollars a month uh, the cost of a drink per month, and really, really um, get a lot of benefit out of that. Um, more The benefits will accumulate the more patrons I get, so that's the incentive to share this and to um, help me grow this community because I really can't do this without you guys. It really means a lot to me to have your help. Um, but there will be growing content for, for patrons only. And um, there's also discounts. You get discounted readings with me if you're a patron. There are special tiers for people who want one-on-one -on -one monthly support, personal readings every month. So definitely check that out and see if that's something that you might be interested in. Um, I'm so grateful for you, Taurus. I'm so grateful that you're here and that we got to share this um, this experience together, it's really magical for me to connect with this collective um, in this way. And it's amazing how connected I do feel to you, uh, despite doing uh, this, recording a video through a phone. It really, energy is, is incredible and powerful. And I hope you feel it too. Thank you so much. I am rooting for you as always and have a beautiful March. And I'll see you next time.